What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite triangles back again. Welcome to the Faith, Wealth, and Ichimoku channel, where we give you the latest and greatest updates on the financial markets. And today, we will be taking a closer look at XRP. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. So we're going to take a look at XRP today. We are going to see where is it going? What's next for XRP? Is it over for XRP? Is it going to, you know, start going to the upside? Is it going to the downside to make new lows? What's going on with XRP? But before we do that, as we already know, this is a God-fearing channel. I always put God first. So I, I want to read you guys off some scripture. Just something that y'all can meditate on and having your spirit for the rest of this week. Uh, I think it's a good scripture for what's going on because God is looking for people that are going to to stand up and be ambassadors. And the scripture I'm going to read is coming out of Isaiah. It's Isaiah 6, 8 through 9. No, 8. So it's, yeah, Isaiah 6 and verse 8. So it reads, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and whom will go for us? Then I said, here am I, send me. So God is looking for someone that's going to be bold and courageous during these times to stand for, for truth, for his word, for the kingdom. No matter what backlash you're going through, God is looking for someone that's going to really be humble and really push the kingdom. God's not looking for lukewarm Christians no more. People that claim to be of the faith but ain't really walking in that. God's looking for somebody he wants to pour his anointing on so they could do walk in the supernatural, walk in the spirit to do some miraculous things. We will see people be healed. We will see demons get cast out. We will see these things as it, it says in the Bible. It's coming a time as you see that the riots the, the pestilence like COVID-19. These things are happening in the world and God's about to make a move. And he's a, He's waiting for someone to say, here I am, Lord, use me. He's waiting for someone to do that. Is that person going to be you? Because many are called, but few are chosen. Are you going to be the one that God chooses to push what he wants to do? Are you going to be someone that's going to push the kingdom? Or are you going to push worldly things? Know what side you're on. Know who you are in God and be bold in what you're standing for when it comes to Jesus Christ, all right? So that's the message I wanted to convey to you guys today. We're going to get into the technical analysis on XRP. I'm, I'm excited for it. I really think XRP is about to do something amazing soon, but we will see on these charts. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, we are back. We are now looking at XRP. We're going to start off the weekly time frame. This is why... I believe XRP is going to start going up very soon. If you look here at the this level, which is 19 uh, cents and 191, we, if you look back in the past, this level has held very strongly as support. And even now, every single time it comes to this level, it rejects very hard. This two weeks ago, this level rejected very hard here. In the week prior to that, it rejected. Prior to that, rejected, rejected. So this level has been pretty strong holding because you see that the body close and the open have been at these levels. So I'm eyeing this market to start moving up. And seeing this candle right here, this is looking like a hammer, a bullish hammer candle uh, to the upside. So we have a day left in 22 hours before this candle closes. Well, it'll be interesting to see how how price responds. And then we, I'm looking to see if price could come back to these levels up here and battle up to go to the upside. So we're gonna need some some serious we're gonna need some serious volume buyers to enter the market at this moment to start pushing that price higher. If we you know close and beat this then expectation of this market is coming back 
to the downside out here, 17 cents. Test that level again. And if we get a breach at 17 cents, we'll definitely 14 cents. But so far, every time it gets close to these levels, we see strong rejection. So I'm not too worried about XRP no nose bombing to the downside anytime soon. I'm thinking this is going to start moving up, especially with Ripple making a, a business deal with Brazil, which was huge. Hope you guys realize that. So I am seeing that. Going to the daily time frame, uh, we have a lot of noise here, so this is not you know that pretty. So anybody that knows Ichimoku, right here we have sequence band A and we have B. So this market's flat, like I've been saying, it's just been ranging in here, it's not really moving any higher. This right here is actually the real problem right here. Even past this level, going to be the challenge. Uh, what I what we need to see for prices to move any higher, we need to get above 21 cents. So currently, right now, if we are looking at this market, go ahead and mark this for you guys right here. I like to keep my students updated too. Uh, so right here, if you are familiar with uh, candlesticks or price action candles or formations, we have a what we have here is a teaser bottom is a bullish reversal pattern. So if we throw off the clouds real quick, this is what we have here. We have a tweezer bottom at support. So I'm expecting prices to start moving back to the upside. Uh, so this is what I'm forecasting right now. This move here, at least that much. So I am going to be watching that, uh, looking at it, uh, looking at Ichimoku on the smaller time frames. Come back here. No, you got this weird cloud formation. It's not looking too pretty, but it's still there. And then you got this chaos here. So four hours does not look pretty. I'm still biased to the upside until proven otherwise. Here, you know, as long as we're moving up, this is what I like to see. I like to see this clouds, you know, secret span A start moving up, start moving like this to get that cloud formation, start moving to the upside. And if we're trading the in the wave theory of each local, so here, here, and we'll get that in wave. It's not gonna be a pretty in wave, but it might be an in wave. But first, we gotta get past this level right here. Uh, in Ichimoku wave theory, this is level A, B, to C, and D would be up here. But we have to get past level B, the price move higher. So if we don't get that, expect the price to start ranging and start consolidating and making another wave. It'll probably be a wave of some sort. So that's what I'm seeing right now. Uh, I'm expecting the market to move up. But we need to get past B first. And we need to, you know, hold this current level of support. If we break this and close underneath it, then expect the market to move lower. 17 cents. So right now I'm I'm my bias is bullish. But right now, honestly, it can go either way. So let me go ahead and do this. This is what I'm seeing right now. This current market can go either way, but I'm leaning to the upside. So take that off. This is my analysis. I'm sticking with it. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this analysis. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hitting the like button helps this channel grow. Subscribing lets you keep updated, uh, uh, lets me keep you up to date with what I'm doing as far as what I'm doing on this channel. I'm am working on the wealth series. Uh, I'm going to be have a guest on my channel soon, so uh, she's lovely. I will love her. So stay tuned for that. But hope you guys are blessed. Stay tuned. God bless you guys, and stay tuned for the next. All right.